Welcome back. Um, one of the things that I do like doing from time to time is buying programs when I go out and see a concert. I thought I'd share one of the better ones with you just so you can um, know a couple of the couple of the things I look for. Some of the programs are stylized. There were lots of photographs of the artist and, and not much else. Others come with a little surprise, and, and I'll, I'll show you one that surprised me, and surprised me delightfully. Um, went to see Diana Crowell with a couple of friends uh, not long ago, and the program, $15, uh, much cheaper than some of the programs you see around the place. Produced pretty well in terms of publishing standard. But what was particularly good about this one is it contained an interview with Sir Elton John. Diana Krall interviewed by Sir Elton John about her musical history, her piano playing, her vocal technique, all those things. This is priceless for those people like me who are uh, interested in how artists develop what matters to artists, how they do what they do and why they do what they do, where they get their inspiration from, what was the first piece of music that actually encouraged them to jump on a keyboard, uh, what are the things that uh, help them in composing. All those issues are laid bare in, in interviews like this. Um, so the Diana Kroll program is one that uh, is particularly special. There are others from time to time that have song lyrics in them. Uh, they've got histories of a band, uh, stories behind songs. They're extremely valuable. I seem to recall Cole Chisel having one of those uh, segments in their in one of their programs for in recent years. So keep an eye out for programs when you go to a gig that have got a particular kind of feature. If you're an enthusiast, for some people. The gigs, the thing they go and see, the merchandise is just uh, paraphernalia. It's in most of what you can see uh, in, in the merch stands, you may be able to see outside the concert arena and, and potentially even buy more cheaply outside of the uh, outside of the concert venue. Uh, while we are talking about that, um, take care when you're buying CDs and DVDs at venues themselves you may be able to get CDs and DVDs more cheaply if you go to a place like JB Hi-Fi or a Target or a Big W uh, or a Kmart. Um, the impulse is certainly there when you're at a venue and watching an artist play. You, If you like the songs, you might want to get the CD. Um, just a caution from a regular concert goer it's a lot cheaper to get material uh, from a place like JB Hi-Fi. So the programs might be a bit difficult to get a hold of elsewhere, depending on um, where uh, the artist sits in terms of prominence and how much stock they have. Uh, the other thing, of course, is ensuring that you don't get too overboard by recordings at the venues unless there's specifically recordings that are unique and you're aware that they're unique um, that's the critical thing if they're unique then by all means uh, have a look at that stuff uh, and buy it but some of the things um, that you might pay thirty dollars for at a concert venue you can get for 18, 19, 20 dollars at the actual retailers of JB Hi-Fi. There you go, that's something I look for in programs and, and I guess a, a bit of a conversation on how to buy music more cheaply. I'd like to revisit that topic at some stage but we won't do so uh, in, a, in a rambling way now. I think we've covered that enough for the moment. Stay safe, take care and I'll catch you shortly.